A band 9 on your next IELTS speaking interview, honestly speaking, does not start by saying to be honest or honestly speaking. Instead, there are many ways to get those high scores. But the one I'd like to talk to you about today is not saying there are many ways, but the one I'd like to talk about today. These kinds of blanket statements and leading expressions are tiring for the examiners. They want to hear your own original English. Let's watch Gita from Uttar Pradesh score a band 8 to 9 on her IELTS speaking interview, and I will explain the right strategies for you to get those high scores. Let's begin. Welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test and I will give you instructions for each of the three parts. I'm recording this for marking purposes. This is candidate number 98731. We are currently conducting this exam in Kanpur at 15 o'clock. May I see your identification? Here's my passport that I used to register online for this exam. Please just have a look. Uh, what is your full name? My full name is as it is in my passport, Geeta Agrawal. And you can just call me by my first name, Geeta. Okay, Geeta. For part one, I will ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. Where are you from? I am from Kanpur, which is the biggest metropolitan city in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Okay, and what do you enjoy doing at weekends? I really enjoy doing restful activities Saturdays and Sundays because I'm so busy in weekdays with my work and school. I like to go for a walk, meet up with friends for dinner and watching movies. This last day I watched a movie called Space Sweepers which was really great. Notice that Gita from the very beginning is confident and uses full sentences. When asked to show her identification, she says, here's my passport that I had used to register, just please take a look at it. Then she cleverly uses the questions for her answers. When the examiner asks, what do you like to do on the weekends, she further details, on Saturdays and Sundays, I like to go for walks, hang out with friends, and watch movies. She gives details and then she explains why she likes to do this and even gives the example of space sweepers. Instead of saying, honestly, on the weekends, I like to, or instead of saying, there are a lot of activities I do on the weekends, but the one I'd like to speak about today. If you do that, the examiner will likely interrupt you. They don't like hearing templates. Instead, use the question, paraphrase it, and give details. Now watch how Gita continues to do this as she answers part one questions about learning. Let's talk about learning. Do you like to study? Yes, I do. I enjoy learning, especially I love to learn about nature and technology and that's the reason why I'm planning to take environmental engineering as a higher uh, level of education. What do you like to learn about? Uh, I like to learn about nature and technology, especially how technology can be useful for humans to work together with environment. And I was researching on water purification system, which has a low impact on environment and reduce the human conception of freshwater resources from lakes and rivers. What kinds of tools do you use to help you learn? I use a variety of documents for my studies, especially my laptop and internet. And there are other hardware and software that I use, such as my mobile phone recorder and camera. And to review my study materials, I even recorded several of my speaking responses to practice for this interview. If you could join any kind of course or class, what would it be and why? I would say it would be astronomy because I always like to learn about space and universe and it's always good to say people a little bit about the night sky during the star gazing. Have the ways people learn these days changed compared to 30 years ago? The ways people learning these days are immensely changed. People are relying most on internet and computer. Back in 90s, people relied most on paper and books. And these days in 21st century, people are learning remotely and using internet much more. And I haven't even bought a hard copy textbook in a decade. 
That is the end of part one. We will now continue with part two. So, did you notice how Gita continued to use this type of reflective language using the questions in her answers to get those high band scores? Indeed, she would get a band nine for this part one performance. She uses exceptional vocabulary like environmental engineering. She reflects the grammar of questions like learning has changed when asked in the present perfect. And she avoids that template and redundant type of communication. This is why she's considered an expert user of the English language. In order to learn such strategies that truly work to get those high band scores, make sure to use our premium IELTS package at aehelp.com. Sign up for free, log in, and use the student partner speaking to interact with other students. When you feel you've practiced enough, be sure to book a mock IELTS speaking interview by clicking on the interview practice button in your My Student account. Now, let's continue with part two. For part two, I will show you a card with some questions on it. You will have one minute to read the questions, think about your answers. You can take notes in the one minute if you wish. You have some note paper in front of you and your pen. And then you will have two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Please do not touch the card. Talk about an object that is used to control society. Your one minute preparation time begins now. Kita, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Uh, an item that comes to my mind which uses about a century and have control over people's life is television. Of course, television is a box that is, it receives audio and video data from the broadcast and it's located mostly in the living room of people's house or in the kitchen, even bedrooms. Not only there, it can be seen in the restaurants, business and hotels. and. Um, Society uses television to enjoy their life for relaxation as well as people watch movies, sports, news and not only that people also used to watch documentaries or educational contents like nature shows. I think the television gives a lot of power to the government and businesses. Since hundreds of millions of people watch the tube on a daily basis and influenced by the information such as fashion and music, even the politics, but they watch in the TV programs. Importantly, unlike the internet, television is not interactive. So uh, people tend to believe what they see in television and the other people who watch the same believe the same because it's coming from a reliable source. Uh, TV has control over what people buy or even who they elect and in some cases in everyday languages because there are a lot of famous saying that comes from the famous TV characters. People watch TV for relaxation after their hard day at work or school and however nowadays people are a little bit annoyed by the advertisement they saw in TVs and that's why they are using more internet and streaming services like Netflix. Okay Gita, that is the end of part two. Now we will continue with part three. For this part two response should earn Gita a band eight to nine. Notice right away how she chose a very clever answer for an object used to control society, the television. She does not start her part two response by stating, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today, or there are many different objects that control society, but the one I'd like to talk about. This wastes time. You need to use the one to two minutes in your speaking part two effectively. If you're wasting time on template statements, that's going to take away from your ability to include better language and vocabulary for those higher scores. Gita, in this case, has her first sentence ready and says an object that has been used to control society is the television. And then she explains what this object looks like, how it works, and why it's so effective 
for controlling people's thinking with different kinds of advertisements, news, and information. In order to get a high score in part two, you need a specific, clear idea that is original and described using your own language. Make sure to practice this before your next IELTS exam. You can do this again in our premium IELTS package. You can send us your IELTS speaking part two recording to this email address and we will give you a band score estimate for free. You will find this email address also in the video description below. Now let's go on to part three. Part three for part three I will ask you a question related uh, to your response and uh, some questions related to the topic of uh, part two. Can you please uh, put the note paper to the side, just turn it over. I'm going to take back the card. Has the TV controlled your life in any way? It has. I have bought some product online, seeing a TV advertisement, which I haven't even used, like a blender. To watch the rest of part three and for many more strategies to get those high band scores, including original practice exams, a fully interactive course, and an app for your phone, visit and join our premium IELTS package at aehelp.com. Use the code CTRL9 for an additional 10% discount. Click the link in the video description. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access. We are an IDP affiliate, British Council partner, IELTS test registration center, I'm a certified British Council agent. Just listen to what one of our students has to say. Hey everyone, this is Aishwarya. So today I'm going to reveal how I scored a 7.5 band with just a week's preparation in my very first attempt. I highly recommend going through Academic English Help YouTube channel as well as the website. Thank you all. Good luck the next time you sit your IELTS exam. Subscribe to our channel. Click over here. Watch another video. Click right up here and click our IELTS Hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos, practice exams, and a fully interactive course.